Hello, I'm Casey Kruger, here to give a, basically a book review in case you want to reserve any books from the public library. The book I'm going to talk about is Leviathan by Scott Westerfield. It's really an interesting book. It kind of takes place during the, the First World War, which is really interesting because I really didn't know like anything about that, except it takes a whole twist on it. So the, there are basically two sides of the war, the Darwinist and the Clanker. The Darwinists inc include the British, French, and Russian forces that are fighting, uh, and basically those forces have weird genetic mutations and just create monstrous beasts that they've sent into battle. And then the Clanker forces, which are the Germany, Austria-Hungary, and Ottoman Empire, have these amazing mechanical creations, so trains, giant walking cyclops engines of war. And it's really cool but the basis of the book the main setting is on a giant floating airship called the Leviathan and it's actually a giant whale just in the sky and it has all kinds of different strands of different creatures inside of it that help the British forces defeat the uh, clanker forces that's the one of the main Settings. The other main setting is the Austrian prince who's trying to escape from German forces, which may seem weird because the German and the Austria-Hungary are on the same side of the war. But in the book, the Germ Germans tried to start the war so they could profit from it by assassinating an Austria-Hungary archduke, which is the father of the prince. So the prince has to escape from the German forces and he finds refuge on the Leviathan. It's a really interesting book and I think you should check it out. Any reads that you're going to recommend? Oh, yeah. Some other books by Scott Westerfield is Imposters. It's the fifth book in the Uglies series. It's also a pretty interesting series. I've read it. Uh, some like books are Breaking Sky, which is kind of more of a sci-fi. It's kind of set in the future, about 20 years, and it's the same kind of aspect of a war. And Storm Dancer, which is pretty interesting. It's, it's kind of more of the clanker side, which is more steampunk and other things, but it also has some of the Darwinist aspects. So it's pretty cool.